Kids at risk, even dying because their parents make dangerous decisions. In the last few months, we've had a mom drive drunk with her kids in the car, children dying in unsafe sleeping conditions. And then this tragic fire, three kids died after their mom locked them in a room and then left them home alone. You've asked us how this can happen again and again. So the I-Team Jermont Terry investigates the alarming number of kids who die at the hands of their parents, Jermont. Carol, children are dying because their parents are not looking out for them. So we wanted to know who is looking after these parents. That's the job of the Department of Children and Family Services, and more needs to be done. Children are supposed to outlive their parents, not die because of a mother's deadly mistake. Two of them are charged uh, beyond all recognition. Three kids left locked in the room, home alone, inside this burning West Dallas house. Four-year-old twin boys, Alex and Adrian Collin, and their five-year-old sister, Naila, die. This is their mother. Angelica Bellin. Prosecutors say Angelica Bellin ignored countless warnings by police and the Department of Children and Family Services to not leave her children alone. She locks them uh, with a deadbolt in a, in a room like animals. Is this case alarming to you and why? Oh, it's very alarming. Even more alarming, the number of Wisconsin children who die at the hands of their own parents. It begs the question, why did the state allow these kids to stay in an unsafe home? Before the deadly fire, Bellin faced six child neglect charges. According to records, the Bureau of Milwaukee Child Welfare found the mom left her kids home alone in the house for approximately an hour back in February. Two weeks later in March, someone found the kids running around this parking lot after their mother went inside the store to shop, leaving them alone. The children managed to open the car door and nearly got hit. West Alice police investigated and say they found the kids living in feces and urine, but still the state allowed the children to stay in the home. Oh, it is tragic. Jan Buchler is the executive director of the nonprofit agency, The Parenting Network. How do we fail to protect this badly? So the I-Team went to DCFS headquarters in Madison to ask just that, why this mother was given so many chances. They refused to talk. We even sent emails asking the agency to explain what it considers a safe home. We got this reply. The department respectfully declines your request for an interview. DCFS not only declined to talk about this specific tragedy, but also the increasing number of child deaths documented on its website. 50 pages into the most recent child abuse and neglect report, here's what the I-Team found. More than 30 children died because of neglect and abuse in 2011. 12 of those deaths were in Milwaukee County alone. Of those 12, 10 occurred at the hands of their own parent. This same report shows DCFS looked at close to 22,000 complaints of unsafe homes. Almost 90% of the time, it deemed the home safe. Only 10% of the homes were declared unsafe. I think those of us who live in fairly well-functioning families have a much higher standard of safety. The state has its own standards, a checklist for determining whether to remove a child from a home. When you look at Angelica Bellin's case, we found even more red flags. Did the safety concern surround hazardous living environments? Did the concern cause emotional problems or severe physical injury? And did the parenting practices lack knowledge to provide basic care for the child, including necessary supervision? At least two out of the three apply, but DCFS allowed these kids to stay with their mom. Do you believe that the Department of Children and Family Services bears some responsibility in what happened to these children? Just on the surface of it, it, it appears to be uh, that, that they waited too long. Since DCFS won't answer any questions, it's unclear if this case is under review or not. Let's not forget, this is a multi-million dollar agency paid for with your tax dollars. Its mission is to protect children. Were these children protected or neglected by the state? Since they're not talking to us, 
maybe they will listen to you. You can reach the Bureau here in Milwaukee at 414-220-7000 or contact the Executive Director at the email you see on your screen. You deserve answers for the sake of the other children in that system. And we should point out that we made all of this information available on our website at TMJ4.com. Well, it makes you wonder if they're in the business of protecting themselves. Clearly, they're trying to do some things for kids, but wonder, no comment? Is that to protect them or the kids? Who knows? All right, thank you, Jermont. Well, a beautiful night in southeast Wisconsin. People got out, enjoyed the weather along Milwaukee's lakefront today. Chief Forecaster John Milan is here to tell us how long this nice weather will last. It was a good